With your look around the Air Force, I'm Technical Sergeant Shandresha Mitchell. Acting Secretary of the Air Force John Roth recently toured a COVID mass vaccination facility in Tampa, Florida. 139 active duty airmen deployed to the facility to assist with vaccination efforts. The operation is run by FEMA in the state of Florida, designed to administer 3,000 shots a day. Secretary Roth's visit is part of a goal to see installations across the Air Force and to encourage airmen to get vaccinated and slow the spread of COVID. He said getting shots in arms is an important step in the right direction. The fighter optimization experiment Project Fox aims to maximize the lethality and survivability of the F-35 Lightning II. For the first time, data from an F-35 mission systems computer was live streamed directly to a connected computer tablet. F-35 pilots already fly with tablets in the cockpit, but safely connecting the tablet to the aircraft is a new idea. With the ability to take information from the F-35 systems, a test was conducted using two apps designed to help pilots suppress air defenses and to increase the fighter's advantages against surface-to-air threats. Lieutenant Colonel Raven LeClaire, a main player in Project Fox, says they hope to shift the timeline for fielding new capabilities to warfighters from years to months or even weeks. Active duty officers and enlisted airmen interested in becoming rated officers have until May 25th to apply for the next Rated Preparatory Program, or RPP class. RPP participants will complete an online ground course followed by a week-long in-resident course to learn aviation fundamentals. Participants will also earn 7 to 10 flight hours and additional training time in a flight simulator. One program chief says the inclusion of enlisted personnel in the program casts a wider net to attract the best the Air Force has to offer. Officers who complete the course are required to apply for the next available undergraduate flying training selection board, and enlisted participants must apply to at least one Air Force commissioning source. And that's your look around the Air Force.